This is a brief demonstration on how to use uh, existing APIs to uh, grab content from uh, services and uh, display on your own website. I'm going to be using my GitHub uh, interface mostly. Uh, you can use Atom if you'd like. Uh, just be sure to upload. I will also be using my code pen so that I can show you examples a little bit quicker. This is not an exercise. As I said, it's only a demonstration. I mean, you can follow along if you want. And uh, by all means, perform same or similar operations to what I'm doing. Discover on your own. And uh, then uh, we'll be done with the course. I'm going to open up my week 8 folder, which has an index.html file. I'll open that so that I can dump some code in here. It should be blank. We created these uh, back at the beginning of the semester. I'm going to click on the pencil icon to edit this file. And as promised, it's blank. I'm going to make my text just a little bit larger so I can see it a little bit better. And I will start on line 1. I'm going to uh, need to get a little bit of a template code going here. So I could either go to uh, previous exercises and dig up the uh, link to the uh, templates that I provided, or I could look for a new one. I'll just make a search for bare bones HTML template. And uh, there's multiple ones here. I'll see what this one is all about. Scroll down. Pass up on that offer, and here's one. So this one declares the HTML, goes through. I'll select all of that, right-click and copy. Of course, you should be able to write this somewhat on your own by now, but that's okay. I'll control V to paste. And let me strip anything that I don't need. This is going to have a title that's just going to be called uh, Using APIs. Uh, it's got a, it doesn't need a description necessarily, so I'm going to get rid of this meta. I don't want, I don't need this to be searched. Uh, I'll leave the CSS uh, link alone just because although we will, I won't be using one right now, if you use it on your page, you could always uh, change it to suit your needs. And uh, I think that's it. I don't think I need to load any JavaScripts. And then inside of the body is where we will actually do this. I'm going to show you a couple, maybe three, probably just a couple, though, of uh, APIs that you can go and use. I'll click on a new tab and visit maps.google.com, Google Maps. And uh, I'll scroll out so that we can see the DFW area. I'm going to ask it to give me a specific address. I'll say, um, well, I could either type in the address or have it look it for me. It's going to be El Central College in Dallas, Texas. I'll press enter and it shows me, okay, well, here's the main building. So great. That's fine. That's exactly what I need. And uh, how do I get this map to display on my page? Uh, well, first let's uh, write some intro here. I'll say, I'll open up a paragraph and say, uh, uh, please visit, or not please, I can just say, uh, if you'd like to visit our downtown campus, here's a map you can follow. Go to the next paragraph. And uh, here we would display the map, right? Well, this is not an image. This is the API actually generating information. It's, it pulled the information that we provided. It, uh, it uh, came up with the address, 801 Main Street in Dallas, Texas, and it's showing us where El Central is. And yes, I want to display this on my website. And while, yes, I could do a screen capture and copy and paste this, I really want to give the user more interactivity, something that they can use, that they can say, okay, well, if El Centro's here, what else is around? What else can I do? An image will not be able to, to show that. So I will click on El Centro here just to make sure that we're talking about the same place. Dallas College or Central College. I get a different display. It's got a picture taken of the area. 
uh, where you can get directions, uh, you can save to your own account, and you can get some uh, location information. You can send to your phone, and most importantly, though, for this demonstration, you can share it. I'm going to click on the Share button, and uh, it's giving me a link, which is... Is that enough? If I if I click and copy that link, I could paste it here as an href, but that would only give us a blank page with this paragraph that shows us that we can click and go to Google Maps to do something that the user can do on his or her own. So what we actually want to do is we want to embed a map. Uh, that'll give us some code that's going to be uh, iframe based and uh, it's got lots of information that the machine understands i went really fast and there's a lot of stuff there let me do that again it's showing me what this is going to look like uh, once it's embedded on the web page it's the same commands it's the same um, display as you would have inside the google maps so i'll copy the html it's been copied to the clipboard i can go back to my page and then right after the paragraph i'm going to press ctrl v as in victor to paste to give me a little bit better view here, I will click on no wrap and ask for a soft wrap. That way the code will wrap around. And sure enough, it's giving me the iframe on line 17. It's all one line. There's lots of information. This is, it's going to make a request to Google to go into the maps uh, and get this embed action going. Some things that we can maneuver, we can change the width and height of the box that's going to be displayed. Let's say I want to uh, use this as a box. I would say 600 by 600 as opposed to 600 by 450. Uh, frame border is zero. That means that's just going to be the map. It's not necessarily going to have a border around. We could change that. Uh, and we could make a whole bunch of other changes here if we really wanted to. So that we can see the sample quickly rather than me... Uh, uploading it to the website. I'm going to copy the code that I have and move on to code pen as promised and create a new pen. And that way I don't need JavaScript. I don't need the CSS, nothing like now anyway. I'll paste the HTML and it'll give me a sample of what's going on. First of all, the paragraph that I typed, if you'd like to visit our downtown campus, here's a map you can follow and here's the map as promised. Uh, although we can't really tell because of the uh, dimensions of my own screen, this is a square. Uh, we can change it to something else. What if I wanted it to fit in this kind of a screen? Well, probably the same width, but maybe half the height. So if I go to the code and say that this is a width of 600 and change the height from 600 to 300, give it a second or two, it'll reload, and now it actually fits in my screen. Is this the map that I want to end up with? Not necessarily. It's going to be up to the web page you're working on. You could also center the map. You could put it on the right side. You could put it on another page. What's important, though, is that without having to do much on your own, the API has uh, created this code for you, and you now can add this information in your page. I'm going to do something else. Uh, I'll go use another... Uh, API. I'll click a new tab and visit Spotify because this is a YouTube video. I will not be uh, recording songs because <laughs> then I'll get tagged with uh, copyright infringement. Nonetheless, uh, let me continue. Uh, actually, I don't necessarily want Spotify.com the main uh, the main uh, page. I want the play page, play.spotify.com, because then this will actually show me the music that I listen to or have listened to recently. If you have a free account, this should still work, I do believe. I'm going to say, well, if you're driving uh, from El Cent or to El Central, uh, not only will I provide you a map, I'll say something like, I'll add a paragraph here that says, uh, uh, why not listen to some Van Halen as you drive, as you make your way here. Colon, and then close the paragraph and then the uh, Spotify API is not as easy to find uh, but it's not too hard to find either so I'll get a new tab and do a quick Google search embed uh, Spotify playlist 
And the first thing that I get here is a developer.spotify.com. Many websites out there that allow you to share content like this will have a developer uh, area that will have little widgets that will allow you to to uh, take advantage of their API. Uh, by embedding, they say that if we right-click on any song and uh, get the link, we can then bring it onto this small application, which is an API itself, and end up with a short preview of the uh, of the item you're trying to share and uh, embed it onto your page. So I will pick uh, something from the things that I listen to. Let's say I'll go to my your library and say, well, there's all kinds of uh, albums and playlists and what have you and let's keep it simple uh i'll i'll pick this one as the hacker soundtrack i'll click on it and uh, find the three dots for more click on more and this is where the uh, playlist link is uh, attached i'll click on that copy playlist and so it gives me a link that i can then take to the spotify page and paste it onto their application. Press Control V as in Victor to paste. And then I get an iframe code. So just like the uh, Google Maps, I'll copy this. I'll bring it back to my code pen. And right after that paragraph, I will paste Control V. And now it says I why not listen to some Van Hill. And obviously I pick something else. Why not listen to, I'll just write, uh, why not listen to the uh, Hacker soundtrack. As you make your way here, I'll scroll down to see more of the page. Although I see I have a an error in my code, I didn't close the tag properly, so now it should be, and then my application shows up. This is the iframe that was given to me, and actually, rather than going to play, it's going to open.spotify.com so that even somebody without an account or anything will be able to see what they're, what is available. And I scroll down and I see that here's the full uh, list to the soundtrack. So now I've embedded a Google map and I have embedded a playlist from uh, Spotify. I'll get all this code, my HTML, Control A, to select all, Control C to copy, and take it to my page that I'm working on in GitHub. Paste this here. I will commit the changes. The next time that I go to this page, I expect to see the results of the addition of the iframes provided by the APIs. and that's a very important statement what i just said these are iframes from uh, another website so an iframe is not necessarily the api itself the api is what's doing the work in the server we're only using an iframe command so that our html page is actually able to go and get the information from the um, from the source that way, though, uh, in the future, when you uh, may be working on your own and uh, you have a very specific item from your website, your content that you want to share or manipulate or do the multitude of things that you can do with APIs, you may have to write new code. This is just existing code, existing APIs that are helping us. Uh, they might not be able to do everything that necessarily that you need but uh, you can have a lot of information uh, provided to you uh, by these companies. I'll just uh, go to my page to see if this has been uploaded. I'll go to the link for the index page in week eight, highlight it, tell it to go there, and uh, it's still loading. But let me reload and see. Okay, so now, now that enough time has passed, I do get my code to display correctly. Uh, if you'd like to visit our downtown campus, here's a map you can follow. Uh, it's given me the address. It's giving me more information. It's allowing me to zoom in and out using the uh, Google API. 
Uh, then I do have just below that, why not listen to the Hacker soundtrack as you make your way here. And here is the code that we wrote uh, displayed as small widgets in our web page. I'll right click on the page, view the page source, just like the um, just like the other the initial API that we use for the Google Maps, we could change the height and width of the uh, Spotify API as well. Uh, and there's, like I said, plenty of APIs out there that generate content like this. Uh, these are just a couple of brief examples. Just be sure that you find the developers area in the API. Google is your friend. You can always say, hey, how do I embed uh, specific code for um, whatever the widget it is that you're trying to uh, display. And you'll probably end up finding something that will generate an iframe like this one that you can come and uh, drop into your code. And, uh, and that's it. We'll call this a, uh, well, not a full semester, but our session is now complete.